Hey y'all, this is Sam Serious. So, I just want to uh, get over with the uh, solar grade silicone. Now, so now that I've gotten the polyethylene produced, uh, I just wanted to uh, go over on how uh, solar grade silicone is uh, made because it is a crucial ingredient for making. Um, we're making all the uh, circuit boot, all the uh, silicone boots and the uh, plates for your transistors with and other circuit components with. So this is something that is I would recommend making. So you'll be needing a whole lot of salt and a lot of uh, and a lot of raw silicone. Salt because you need to be able to uh, get plenty of. Uh, the uh, chlorine, because you will need chlorine to make the necessary uh, flues to get the uh, solar grade silicone. So with this whole process, we'll be starting off with a bunch of electrolysis machines. I choose them having each four, each powered by one amp worth of MB. You're going to be needing one of these per uh, electrolyzer. I'm having all the chlorine going to G to tanks, which then gets rooted into the uh, advanced chemical reactors. So these uh, electrolyzers will also be rooted sodium to the uh, bottom shot too as well. So the uh, so the advanced chemical reactors will be combining chlorine and raw silicone to be producing uh, silicon tetrafluoride or tetrachloride, excuse me, chloride as in chlorine. I mispronounced that. Silicon tetrachloride. We'll be needing plenty of that. And silicon tetrachloride mixed with uh, sodium dust, so sodium dust and all that will give you silicone grade silicone and salt. So that's how you pretty much treat all the uh, silicone. It's pretty so much straightforward to do with just a few machines. Yeah, it's one of the more complicated machine walls to do, but this way it's synergized, it's more simpler. Uh, with raw silicone, some of the easy ways of getting silicone is um, soda light and soapstone and obsidian, of course, too, as well. When when you have that grounded up, all those together to make that for uh, raw silicone, just be frosted to sold grid silicone. Those are good sources to work with. I strongly recommend soda light, where you also get aluminum with that too, as well. Aluminum and chlorine. So, you can definitely get a reliable source of silicone out of a lapis vein. And soda light will satisfy a lot of the uh, requirements to make these. And of course, you could also make use of salt too as well, as I mentioned the sheen. Now what's nice about this too as well, because of this advanced chemical reactor that uh, that yields to solar grid silicone, it's able to produce salt too as well as an output. So you're able to have this drawer take in all the salt, and loop, loop it back out into the electrolyzers again, just get reprocessed back into sodium and chlorine again. This way you're going to be able to recycle the stuff. Downside is though, you will be at a net loss for it won't be producing enough ingredients to create a closed loop salt production system. So you will need to, from an outside source, feed in more salt as time goes by, because eventually you're going to run out of salt even with this. But you are able to make it stretch a long ways with this chemical reactor. And, you, and doing all that, get plenty of the uh, silicon soil grade ghouls and you're pretty much uh, good to go with uh, circuit production. Once you have a reliable enough EBF and stuff and all that. Anyways. I just wanted to touch bases on that real quick. Anyhow, hope this was helpful to y'all. As always, I welcome any questions to be asked, and I'll do what I can to help y'all on a timely basis. Anyways, y'all take care, and I wish y'all a fine day.